And now it's with mixed feelings that I have to say goodbye. It's kind of on its last trek with me, this car. Bittersweet, it's gonna to go to a good owner. Hello, and thanks for slipping some time with me today. Do you know something's missing? I have my second generation red one here, my first generation originally owned first generation, my 89 Lotus is there that I'm working on. I have a Comet GT up there, and there's some stuff you don't see that's around as well. But the blue first generation that sold and bring a trailer that I've done in my previous videos lately is no longer with me. It has been handed off to the new owner. And what I did, because it was an emotional time, uh, I think for both of us, I did capture a little bit of that last day uh, I had it and handed it off to him. And when he got it and we transferred over to his trailer from mine, and just a little interview with him as well. So I think you'll find that interesting, so stay tuned for that right now. I got a lot of personal time in this and uh, it can never be duplicated, so that is sad I'll never have this again, but uh, it'll be out there in the, in the wild somewhere and uh, I'm sure it'll be taken care of and, and probably preserved for eternity, I'm guessing, the way the, the condition of this is. The owner will be pretty pleased, I think, to see it and get it in his hands. So the new owner, I'm loading into my trailer and then we're going to meet at the border because I'm Canadian, he's American, and that's where we're going to do the, the swap. It's just easier that way. I'm not too far from the border. I'm only like 90 miles away. So that'll be easy. And uh, so I'm going to load on the trailer and uh, then we'll unload it for him and I'll wave goodbye. So hello, this is uh, Brian and his son picking up this car that you've seen on the Bring a Trailer auction. Um, so Brian, how do you feel? Excited to be back in the DSM game. So uh, you're a DSMer from way back, I think probably as a teenager even it sounds like, right? Yep, yeah. Back in the teens, early, early 2000s was my, my first one, which my first one was a blue one, just like blue 92. So just like this, except it didn't have the pop-ups because we converted that, or I did anyway, but yeah. Well, uh, when did you get out of it and why? Um, now that you get back in. <laughs> yeah, through, 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 you know, through the, the teens and early 20s, it was the, the hot scene and Fast and Furious, you know, working on them, buying them, selling them, and I was always tinkering with them. Uh, but as I grew up and, you know, had a family, I think my last one I sold in 2008 to kind of start my, my first business. So I had to sell the car to, you know, to buy a house and start the business. And that was 2008. So I haven't had one since. The business has grown and done well. And I've always had the itch to get back into them. That's one of the first cars I had. But obviously then it's like, oh, am I going to get back into the car? And they're ratty and you got to work on them. And you have issues and I'm busy. So I always wanted to. And I've looked at 1Gs and 2Gs and I follow different auctions. But then once I saw this one, I think as soon as I saw it, I'm like, that's it. I, I that's have to one. get it. I'm going to get it almost no matter what. <laughs> and I was doubting myself once that auction was kind of going up and up and up. But, you know, in auctions, some people just get trigger finger and click. Yeah. And they maybe shouldn't have, so. Caught up in the excitement. So, yeah, I got caught up in it, but. Well, I can vouch that you cannot duplicate this car. I think you know that and you appreciate him. And I, I'm really happy that it's going to someone who loves these cars and is going to appreciate it. Um, so now that you have it, what are your plans? Oh, we're going to have to look at it for a while. Like I said, I'm afraid to drive it. Well, well, so gonna, was I. I'm going to drive <laughs> it. Um, I'll probably take it to the local track. I'm just going to baby it. But the shootout's coming up, and I think I haven't been there a few years. I mean, I think I went four or five times, but it's been a, 
it's been almost maybe 10 years since I've been there. And I think all the local guys from Wisconsin are gonna go out, so. Well, let me know if you're going, because if you are, I might be complied to go. I might have to go, just for that reason. I'll see if any of my buddies got the room in their hotel room. <laughs> it, that, that was my plan, was to take this shit out. So, um, I, as I said to you earlier, I hope you can. It'd be awesome to see this out there, just for people to see it. Yeah, take it to the shootout, and yeah. uh, do some local car shows. Even uh, getting here, talking, you know, I, I had to buy a trailer, and all, all the logistics to get here, when I talk to, when I talk to, when I find the trailer, they're like, oh, and I'm like, I need the trailer, I'm going to Canada tomorrow. What are you getting? I'm like, a 92 Eagle Talon? <laughs> they're like, oh, the all-wheel drive one? Those are cool, I haven't seen those. So surprisingly, everyone you know, that I talked to knew about it, even the guys at the border. They're like, oh, that's those all-wheel drive cars, like the Eclipses. Yeah. So it's kind of surprising these guys get the, it. The so. guys at the border... The guys at the border had to come and see the car in the trailer. They wanted to see the car, not because of the looking for drugs or anything. They actually just wanted to see the car. <laughs> so, so, so hearing that, it's exciting. So I'm going to take you to some car shows and we'll see, you know, what looks like, what type of looks and responses from people it gets. Mm -hmm. You know, he's 10. And he hasn't even seen one of these really. I'm sure you've seen it, but you didn't recognize it. But once you see the hump in the hood. Yeah, the now bump. You're, you're gonna spot them all the time, but you're gonna, they're rare. They're hard, they, you don't see them on the road much, and if you do, they're all trashed. Yeah, trashed with a fart can out the back, or who knows what. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just enjoy it. I mean, we're in Wisconsin, so half the year it'll be in storage. But yeah, that's like here, that's where I am in Canada. Same thing, same thing. But in summers, yeah, we'll definitely enjoy it. Baby it. So I've told people, and you, you see if you can vouch for that, most cars look better in pictures. I find this actually looks even better in person than it did in pictures. I think it does. I mean, it's not super sunny, but it's still bright enough. And anywhere you walk, you just, you see that glare coming off of it. Every, every spot, the, the glass, the, the black, the trim, the mirrors, the roof, mm -hmm. the moldings, the real moldings. They're not my 3M electrical tape modified I used to do back in the day to cover up the, the chrome. Yeah, these were all sun-baked. Yeah, sun-baked and fading off. Yeah, and these and these were all dented because they dent really easy. Yeah. So I did this thinking this is the, the way it should be. Is there anything you think, and it won't hurt my feelings, that to make it your own, anything will change or this is it? I got not change anything. I mean, I'm... My first one was a 92 with the other headlights. I think I would have maybe preferred that more for myself. Okay. Um, am I gonna change it? No way. The yeah, work to, yeah, to revert work. that, to get everything <laughs> to match, it's more work than I, than I want to tackle. Um, it's still nice. The, they're, they're cool as well. I mean, I like both. Also, be cool to see people's reactions when they see like it can, if, if they know the ninety to ninety one versus the ninety two ninety three. It confuses people. Yeah, yeah. It it did on the auction too. I noticed it on Facebook when it was listed. People were like, "Huh? What? Well, I don't understand. That's the one GA, one GP, one GA, one GP, ninety what? <laughs> it's got the headlights." So it was. I was scrolling back and forth, looking at pictures, tracking the VIN number to decipher mm -hmm. what really was going on here. But mm -hmm. no. Um, and what's your son's name? Braxton. Braxton. So Braxton has a YouTube channel. He's an up and comer. What's the name of it? Mud Brothers, capital M, no space, and capital B. So you guys subscribe to that and check that out. It's going to be probably lots of action. You're 10 years old, I think, and you're just starting that out. So I can imagine what you're going to have in your lifetime coming up. And, and Dad's got some pretty nice cars, too, that uh, other than this one that I think you're going to want to play with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. The, the new the new shop's gonna have a separate area to keep the cars away from him and his buddies. But eventually, <laughs> they'll get their hands on. And then him, he'll get a car too, probably. Yeah. Start wrenching. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might I might get some different sets of wheels, maybe. Um, yeah, some people uh, didn't like the black. Some people wanted it. I I thought it went nice because it was kind of the black top. But yeah, make it your own. Yeah, other than that, drive it. Hopefully drive it in the nice weather to a nice car show, take it to the shootout. So it kind of looks like it driving us around. Yeah, have a security guard on it. Yeah, pray everyone stays away. <laughs> watch the rock chips and all that good stuff. So, don't, no, no, we don't want that. Yeah. The first scratch, you'll cry. And it will happen because you'll have it for a long time. So you'll, 
eventually something will happen, unfortunately. But I've had 60 of these over the years from shells to beaters to clean cars, but I, I think this one might be maybe for everyone. Obviously, who knows what will happen. Yeah, you never say never. You know, it's a big investment, so I'll enjoy it for quite a while. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with us, and again, I'm very happy it's going to you as a longtime DSMer and appreciates this and uh, excited for you myself. So let's get it loaded up and you on your way. You got a long drive. Yeah, I, we're at uh, in Montana, just short from the border in Canada here, and you're near Milwaukee, right? I believe yeah, so. South of Milwaukee, about a 15 hour drive. So. Yeah, so he's got a bit of a drive, and uh, he bought this trailer. He's going to use it for other things, but he just bought it uh, to get this car. So. <laughs> Okay, let's get it loaded up. Alright. Give me on video messing it up. There's my baby. Not my baby, his baby now. Beautiful car. I will miss you, my friend. Been with me for a while. <laughs> <laughs>